hello everyone today in this video we are going to set our project icons so in the previous video i un uninstalled all of the extensions so now i'm going to open the vs code which is a default vs code with the extension so let's right click on it so first i'm going to add this into the taskbar so let's click on it and it will be appeared here and yes it's appeared and now i can simply click on it and open this vs code right so it will open by default uh, project which opened into this vs code so now question arises that how you can open new project into the vs code so let's close this out and let's uh, right click on it and click on this new window okay and it will open a fresh window for you let's uh, wait for a moment and by the way if you are not familiar with my youtube channel so i'm shooting different different videos on the laravel so there is 300 plus videos so don't forget to check them out so they are very useful videos okay our text reader is opened and now i'm going to open any of the project so i have created a employment app which i'm building this uh, for my client so i'm going to open this app into my project so here i'm going to uh, let's click on this open folder not file because we are going to open full project into our vs code so let's click on this open text editor and uh, let's go to the desktop and here there is our laravel apps and in the laravel i have employment app so let's click on this select uh, select folder so this is basically employment app which contain all of our project directories app public and stuff like that and yes my project is opened here and it's uh, not readable because uh, i don't know uh, what is the resources file what are the php file and stuff like that so if i go here go to resources views so it's telling us uh, views as they are php files because it's showing the uh, elephant uh, icon here so how we can make them readable so let's go here and go to the bottom and there is option of extension so let's click on it and here you need to search the material material icon right so it's uh, appeared on the top material icon which is philip keef right so you can also install this material theme icon but i'm going to install this uh, first one it's having more rating and i personally test it right so let's uh, click on it so you can also test the uh, other one it's totally upon your personal preference how you like the um, visualization of icons and uh, I mostly prefer this one because it's exactly telling that what are the Laravel blade files, what are the folder, what are the files and what are the images and stuff like that. So here you need to set that uh, which uh, uh, which uh, fonts are you want to use. So if you want to CT Visual Studio Code, so it will load by default uh, fonts uh, which uh, comes with the uh visual studio code which are not readable so if you want to click on this material icon theme so then material icons are applied on it okay and now it's very visual that uh, there are the resources directory in the resources there are blade files right so we are ex uh, now able to add the icons into our project so it's mm. more readable so now there is env files it's also telling us git ignore files composer files are also having different one webpack having different one and config php files exactly representing the php icon and stuff like that right so you can also go here check the css file so there is a uh, and you can also check the js file so they are exactly representing their identity right and uh, in the next video we are going to do our next step that how we can add different type of extensions to go to view go to controller and stuff like that so hope next video will going very amazing so don't forget to check them out so i will meet you in the next one bye bye